tell me the story about how Pike and Sons got to where you are today. Okay. It all started with my son, actually. You've met my son, haven't you? Yes. Um, it started at Christmas. He helped me make chocolate dip pretzels, and it was, it was he's my stepson, and so we've kind of had a disconnect. So that brought us together. Oh, that's awesome. So, so that's how it originated. And so anytime I'm in the kitchen cooking or making fudge, because I make fudge for Christmas, and he is right there with me, helping me, wanting, you know, stirring. And so my husband's been trying for years to get me to do this. And, um, so I started setting up, I bought some business cards, I did my own little logo. And so I met, I went to a, um, seminar on how to start your own business, and helping women help themselves. And the gentleman there that talked did, um, he was a consult, he was a retired consultant from Nathan's Hot Dogs and some of these huge companies. And so he helped, he helps women get their business started and help them consult and give them ideas. So I started out with fudge and Ziploc baggies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we moved to boxes. And so, um, which was his idea, was to do it, in, to put it in boxes. Right. But he thought that we were going to, he was like, like Mackinac. He was all, put a slab and then cut it so people can actually have the experience. Pull it out. Pull it out. Like, so, can you show us? So, um, this is how it, actually, this is how I was wrapping. Okay. And so now we've went to making it thicker like fudge is supposed to be yummy and I have boxes to put them in okay oh, okay <laughs> so, so you have the boxes so here then the boxes. so yeah I do have I do have the boxes okay so they put them all together so when you leave here you leave with a nice little box and oh. a label and everything on it so so that's kind of how it went from being in Ziploc baggies to a nice display like this. Well, that's awesome. You know what I th would think was interesting is, I was just talking to you about this, is that every humongous conglomerate started as one person with one idea. Right. And what's to prevent Pike and Sons from becoming global? The only thing that prevents that from happening is ourselves, right? Right. So Pike and Sons is ready to go global. Yes. And make, you know, just make it and be huge. So with that, you have to want that in order to be able to achieve it. Right. So you're already at that first step. And this is really amazing. You're taking the steps to do it. And I'm so proud of you. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And it's been really, you know, I've gone to shows and there'd be nobody there, but I still wound up leaving, making a little bit of money. So it's, it's been successful for me. I have tried all of these marketing you know, I did Mary Kay. I did all these, mm -hmm. home, I don't know what you call it. Multi-level or multi direct marketing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've done several of those and I, because I've wanted my own business. I've wanted to have the freedom of being able to go with my boys if I needed to work or set up. And I love this. I love doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. I love setting up. I love the people. I have just have not had any success in. This is the first thing I've done that I've really had success in. That's because this is your passion. Yes. So with the other things, your passion was to have your own business. It wasn't to be a Mary Kay consultant. It wasn't to be uh, whatever consultant. It was to have your own business. Right. So now you have your passion of what you love doing and wanting to have your own business. You've combined it, and that's what the magic is. And that's what you've done is you've created the magic. Right. Yeah. And it's not, it's, it's not difficult. I mean, is it hard work? Yes. Yes. But it's not difficult. I hated doing parties. I hated doing parties. Right. I hated having to build a team to make money. Do it. I make my fudge, which is something I love to do. The boys love to help me, which they're not here, by the way. They're on vacation. Oh, good for them. <laughs> they're seeing their mom in Oklahoma, so they're not here. Um, they'll be at the Lemon Vet Zest in Garland. Yay! So they'll be there to help me. Awesome. Um, and it's helped bring our family closer. Mm -hmm. And that's made, you know, I told my husband if I don't make a design, it's brought the boys and I closer together. Yeah. And that's what's So that's your why? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. boys. Absolutely. Especially yeah. my youngest, because 
we, you know, we have some custody of the boys, and he is, we moved here two years ago, so he was eight. So he was really still, he's still very young to be taken with. Yeah. And so, I'm the bad one. Okay. And so it's really connected us, and he, I mean, I, it is hilarious, because I'll be like, we got to clean the kitchen, we got an order, and boy, he is up helping me, and it doesn't matter what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's doing dishes, which is a battle any other time, but yeah. it has to do with the business. And it's so cute. When you see him, you can ask him, what part do you play? And he'll go, I'm co-owner. <laughs> That's why I, was, I put the boys in the Yep, yep. Here. That's awesome. And he did that all, all on his own. Um, the first time we set up, somebody had asked him, and he was like, I'm co-owner, and it just it kind of shocks me because I hadn't <laughs> discussed this with him for him to come up with such a big term. And right. To know what that is? Right. It's it really cute. So uh, that is so great. You're building an entrepreneur. You're building entrepreneurs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they're going to think differently because of what you guys have done here, and you put this together, and and their whole lives are going to be different than they might have been if had you not done this. Right. Yeah. Right. So you are changing a lot of lives. That's amazing. I hope. I hope. No, you are. You are. So you are. I I just want this to be successful so that they can see the hard work does pay off. Yeah. You know, do something you love and it Yeah. I'm going to get a hug. All right. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's so awesome. so glad to hear your story. You know, I just, I mean, when net, you network with people and you don't really get a chance to really get to know them very well. This, yeah. you know, the time we have together is so minimal. You right. Know, take advantage of every, you know, minute with everybody, you know. Right. It's so hard. So I'm glad I got to hear your story. I'm glad we got it here. I hope we can hear it. And um, if not, I'll do it again. Okay. Here we are, Pike and Sons. Look at all this stuff. Oh my goodness. I gotta tell you, I just tried this one here. Wait, there we go. Which is chocolate pecan fudge. And then I had this one, which is s'mores. This one is just your everyday chocolate fudge, but it was yummy, yummy, yummy. And this one, chocolate walnut fudge. But wait, there's more. This here, specially made by Renee Pike herself, lemon fudge. This is the best fudge I've ever had in my life. I love chocolate, but this lemon fudge is just so flavorful. I can't wait till you guys can see it at the Lemon Zest and Garlic Fest. Then we had here, butterscotch, chocolate with English toffee bits, and caramel. And then we had some homemade strawberry jam. Yes, I did eat all of that and more. 